Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm doing another unboxing of Toreba, the online crane game, and a lot of you were pretty happy with the previous video, so I thought I'd do another one, uh, and this time it includes the winning plays. So let's get into it. I won quite a few things this time, so you can see how the box is jam-packed. I'll lift it up right now and show you how much stuff is in there. So a few plushes and a few other things. So uh, let's get into it. So the first thing I won, was this um, Vulpix and it's I previously won that Alolan Vulpix in uh, the previous unboxing video so I wanted the other one and someone actually just left it like this and <laughs> I thought oh my god I have to play for this so all I needed to do was give it a tiny tiny little push and it actually fell through the hole and it's one of those um, bars where it's thin at one end and bigger at one the other end so you have to sort of move over the plush so it falls through the larger end so that's what I did um, I watched someone play it and they just left it dangling like it was so again everything comes in a plastic bag so I like to keep the plastic bags and then reuse them for something uh, like any orders or anything or filling any bags with anything so I'm just going to use a little Stanley knife to uh, open the uh, plastic bag so I don't actually damage it and then we can use it again all right let's get into him so you can see how nice and soft this one is this is a little bit more softer than the um, Alolan one that I got for some reason I don't know if it's the material but the Alolan one is a little more it seems to have more stuffing in it or something and the fabric is actually a little bit softer on this one as well so uh, I think I like the red Vulpix a little bit more uh, in terms of quality uh, they were both really really great quality but uh, it's, this one's just a little bit more softer than the Alolan one so here's the Alolan one that I won before and you can see how they have the winky faces on um, the other side. So that complements really well, uh, so you can um, set them up together and one's winking one way and one's winking the other way. So really, really glad I actually won these two. So this is the complete set um, and you can only get these out of um, the claw machines in Japan or you could probably find them on Mandarake as well uh, once it's been, um, you know, people have played it and sold it back to Mandarake. On to the next one, and this is a little Espeon uh, roll plushie, they call it a big roll plushie or something, um, that I won. I had a few goes at this, so this is the winning shot that I have. I tend to poke a lot of things to win it, so this was kind of a lucky poke. Uh, luckily that um, claw was actually strong enough to push it through. So I haven't got the Umbreon, but I definitely got the Espeon, uh, as you can see I won it. So really really glad I won that one, and let's open it up. Okay, so here we have the Espeon and it is packaged in a plastic bag again. So I'll go ahead and just open it with the uh, Stanley knife. So I can uh, reuse that plastic bag. And you can see that all the bags have a little barcode on it. So um, I guess they have it in a giant warehouse in Japan. So they'll go ahead and um, pick them all out of this warehouse to ship them out. All right, so first thing is the, the material is not as soft as the Volpix plushes, but it is very, very soft. Um, it is very, very good quality as well. And I love the little rolly, rolly look to it as well. So uh, I, re I really like the color of Espeon. I'm, I'm not sure whether it's my favorite evolution, but um, it's definitely up there. I can't really decide on what my favorite evolution is. So you can comment down below um, of your favorite evolution. And if it's Espeon, then this one's for you. So I think they have all of the evolutions in this big roll plushy uh, style as well, but Espeon is the only one that I won, so you can see how it has the two little forked tail on the end, so great attention to detail, it's not just a crappy Espeon plush, but um, yeah, really glad I won this. So I don't think I'll play for any more of these big roll plushies just because I'm not really a big fan of it but um, you can see here the Espeon and Umbreon are coming in the set as well so it's on the swing tag so but I don't think I'll be playing for Espeon anyway. Alright on to the next one. So this is a little bit of a uh, premium as they say it is a Pokemon pocket watch so they have three designs with this one so I went for design C which is a Charizard and as they call it is a Lizardon or something um, but yeah I had a few goes at this so um, and you can see I was just thinking of how to uh, properly place the claw so I thought I'd give this position a go and luckily it actually lifted it up and fell through the two poles so I find these ones the boxes are quite hard but um, once you get the hang of it you can sort of 
figure out what kind of um, way to do it best once you've played it a few times. All right, so let's open this one up. So this comes in a little tin and it is like a Pokemon covered tin. It's got Pikachu all over it. So it's really, really cool that you can actually reuse the tin if you want. Um, so I, you know, reuse a plastic bag as well. So get out my handy dandy dandy knife and then we can open it up. And yeah, it's really, really great quality tin and you can see the watch um, showing through the top of the tin. So here it is close up and you can see the little um, design on the front of the sticker and also the tin that has all the little Pikachus all around it. I don't know why they didn't choose to have like um, tins that correspond with the types of watches but eh, I'm not complaining. I like this tin. It's pretty pretty cool. And I think it has all the information and stuff on the bottom but it's in Japanese so um, I can't really read it. All right, let's open the watch up. So it's got these two little stickers onto the side, so you can't really um, pop it open without peeling them off. So I'll put that to the side and I'll pop the lid off. And this is actually a really good quality watch. It is actually metal, so it's not plastic or anything. It is made of metal. And it has this really long, nice chain as well. So you can actually attach it to a bag or your clothes or your outfit or anything really. So um, that's all that's in there. There's no little instruction pamphlet or anything. It's just like a little foam cutout. So if you're familiar with BJDs, they come, some of them come out with foam cutouts and um, that's what it looks like. So here we have the watch and it is a nice co coppery sort of color. Um, and it has like this little hook that you can hook it to something. And this is the front of watch, so this is what the um, face is behind and the bit that flips down. And this is the back of the watch, which is a little embossed Pikachu logo. Alright, so let's open it. So it has a little button up the top there, and you can see uh, inside of the, the, the watch itself is the Charizard picture. And that's behind some glass, and that's the clock face itself. So really glad I won this one. I really like Charizard. He's my favorite Pokemon. So um, it's it's really great quality, and you can sort of I don't know if you can see it too well. Um, it's you know with the reflection and everything, but I hope you got a good glimpse of it inside. <laughs> so I'm not too sure where I'm going to attach it to this time, but it is actually working, so it's just a surprise as well. Okay, moving on to the next one. And this is a little keychain of a um, cat. I'm not too sure what it's from, if it's from an anime or just a mascot or something, but it actually looked like my cat that passed away. So uh, I kind of actually wanted to win it to just have something because it looked like her. So this is the winning shot and it's these ones are kind of a little easy to get. If you can just memorize it and get in the right spot, it will fall down in between those poles. So that's what I did there and I won it. So let's get into it and open it up. And as you can see, it is wrapped in the plastic again. So I will open it with my hands this time. <laughs> so it's just like one of those plastic things that you peel over the top. Anyway, so here's what we've got. It's just a little mascot and it's quite pretty soft. Um, it's, you know, looks like my cat. So that's why I wanted it, nothing special. And it's kind of like a uh, plush fabric. It's not long or anything. Um, and it is just a keychain. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but like I said, something that I wanted to win. And inside the ears are like a mink fabric as well, so that's a nice little detail. So you can have a look at the um, the tag, and maybe you guys know what it, this is from, but I don't. But I just yeah thought it was really really cute. There's a whole heap of different coloured cats, so uh, this is the only one that I won. But when this was up on Toreba, everyone was going crazy over it, so you couldn't actually get in to get a play. So I'm pretty lucky that I got this one. All right, on to the next one. And this is something that I wanted for ages. It is a Sumiko Gorashi uh, drink bottle. It's um, like a thermos drink bottle. So I really want to win this blue and green one. So here's the winning um, play. And I got really lucky with this as it just sort of rolled off. <laughs> uh, so pretty lucky. I only had a few goes at this one, but um, they don't actually have it on the website anymore, which is a shame because I'd like to win that pink one too. But anyway, beggars can't be choosers. So let's open it up. So we have the cute little box here. So I always get attached to boxes for some reason. And like this one's really, really cute when I like all the little characters in the front. So I don't really want to throw it out, but um, yeah, it's just really cool. So let's actually get the bottle out. So it comes wrapped in this little bubble wrap, which, you know, I always keep bubble wrap because I use it to wrap my dolls. So that's always good. And it comes again in another plastic thing. So much plastic. 
Uh, and it's got this cute little design on the front and it complements the top of the bottle really well as well. So I don't know really the names of these characters, I just think they're really cool. Um, so this is the one that I preferred over the pink one but they're both really really cute. And I have actually tried this quite a few times and with some tea and it works really really well and it keeps the tea warm and it keeps um, the water cold. And you can see in there, it's only a small thermos, so that's all you really need. But it works really, really well, so I'm really happy I actually won this. And, you know, you can actually play claw games where you can win things that are of use and not just, you know, toys and stuff. So um, I'm going to try and play for some more things like this drink bottle in the future. On to the next one. And who doesn't like good Tama? So someone actually just left this plate uh, dangling like that, so I thought I have to play for this. So it's actually in like an oven dish, but it's a quite a small oven dish. Um, but yeah, they just left it like this. So I know with these ones, you kind of have to lift them up from the back sometimes if they're hanging over the edge. So that's what I did and it had a few goes at it um, and I actually won it. So ha really happy that I did. So I almost stuffed it up, but I didn't. Alas, I actually won. So let's open it up. All right, and you can see the cool little packaging here. So it has an example of what you can do with the dish, but it's really, really tiny. So it only is really good for one person. But um, yeah, again, something that you can actually use if you want. I haven't used it just yet, but uh, I really do want to. But I also don't want to ruin the picture on the actual dish as well, because I know sometimes when you use things a lot that they become, you know, you wash them, you bake with them, blah, blah, blah. And the image becomes a bit, you know, ruined over time. So. Um, yeah, I'll probably use it sparingly, but um, yeah, it looks really, really cool. And it's actually in the shape of an egg as well. Ha, huh, go figure. So I figured this would be good for something, you know, like a small pasta bake or something like that. But, you know, I, I wouldn't put things directly onto this ceramic dish anyway. I'd probably put baking paper in it so I don't ruin it. Um, but <laughs> what's the bet I don't end up using it at all? <laughs> But again, a really good quality thing that you can win off Toreba and uh, it's actually a real Sanrio piece so uh, that's also a plus as well. Alright, on to the next piece. So I actually won another one from the cinema roll. It's the brown cinema roll. I'm not sure of her name. I know it's a girl. Um, cinema roll but yeah I can't for life for me remember her name so if you remember her name can you comment in the uh, in the comments below and I'll try and remember so all I needed to do with this one was just you know poke it in the right spot on top of her butt and it fell through the two poles as well so I saw a lot of people having trouble with these particular ones as well so I don't know what they did um, wrong or anything so let's open it up and again it came the same way as the white cinema roll in that little plastic container bag container whatever so let's open it up with my handy dandy stanley knife and cut that red tape off there we go and then i can reuse that plastic So here's what we have so far and I really wanted these two cinema rolls as well because you know they have they're kind of holding each other in that medallion that is in the front of um, that she's actually holding with her f with her hands so I wanted to get the pair it comes in a set of three but um, you know I wanted to get the pair because I think they look really cute together and I really like the ambery brown color on this cinema roll as well so I thought it was really really cute. And once again, a really good quality piece. It's uh, the same material as the other white one as well. And really, really soft and good quality made and an actual Sanrio piece, a real one. Um, and again, has a little dangly hook thing that you can attach things to. But, you know, I'm just going to sit them next to each other because they look cute together. Right, and moving on to the next ween. And we have another cinema roll. Surprise, surprise. This time it's a rather big plushie and it's the pink female cinema roll. I don't know her name either. So some cinema roll fan I am. Um, and again, uh, I had a couple of goes at this. So I managed to roll it off. And I don't know if Toreba was having some... Um, they stuffed up the setting for this particular one because people were winning these plushies left, right and centre. So, you know, I was one of those people that won it. And it's a really, really nice quality and soft plush as well. And you can see the fabric on this one is a little bit different. Uh, it's kind of like a, I don't know, shimmery sort of swirly fabric um, as opposed to all the other cinema rolls that I've won, which is like 
uh, felt sort of plastic but um, yeah this one is quite soft and quite swirly and quite you just want to swirl it around in your hands um, and it is a lot bigger than the other ones as well so um, it can stand sort of behind all my other cinema rolls but uh, yeah really nice fabric and it comes in a set of two as well so you got the white cinema roll and uh, this pink one as well I can't remember her name but regardless, a good addition to any cinema roll collector. And you can see the swing tag is pretty much the same as all the other cinema roll tags, but a real Sanrio piece again. Um, and I always like that tag. And I will say that the flowers aren't actually stuck on there very well. So I did lose a few little petals here and there when I um, just had them around as well. So probably need to hot glue them or something. All right, let's go over what we have. We have, I want a whole lot of things this time. So I won the pink cinema roll plush, I won the roll Esp Espeon, the brown cinema roll, the Pokemon watch, the normal Volpix, the Gudetama baking dish, and the uh, Sumiko Gorashi thermos. Oh, and the little kitty mascot keychain. All right, and that is it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any requests, you can leave it in the comments down below. You can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Creatures of Nat, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.